Howdy everybody, it's Friday. I feel like doing something fun. So today I'm gonna show you how to make balloon swords. I've got two different kinds I'm gonna make and uh, we'll have some fun. First one is the first one I learned. It's the most basic sword I know. First off you fill the balloon up basically all the way and tie it off. You always want a little, little bit of air out of these things after they're done, otherwise you're you know, from popping. Try that again. All right. This time without the popping. Right there. Okay. This one is very simple. What you know is you're gonna fold this over here, about that long, to get that. You'll have to play around with sides to make sure you get to where you want. You just want to pinch it right in the middle between these two points, right there, and twist. And voila, you have a balloon sword. Problem with this one is you send the kids out to go play with it, they come back to you. It's broken! And yet you're spending a while just doing that. So now we'll go over my favorite method to make a sword, which I think is a much better one for multiple reasons. For one, it looks cooler. And for two, it uh, doesn't have that issue. So once again, you're basically filling up the balloon and letting out a little bit of air. For this one, you want to fold to right about there. And pinch it there and twist it so you just have one little bubble right here. Now, what you're, now one thing you need to keep in mind when you, whenever, you do blue, whenever you do twisting, you always twist in the same direction. So now you're going to pinch and twist four times or so. Pinch and twist, pinch and twist, pinch and twist, pinch and twist. I like to get five bubbles right there. And if you've done them all the same direction, they will not come undone. And you take this end here and just stick it through that loop you made earlier. Shape it. Voila, you have a pirate sword. This one is great. It lasts a good long time, and you don't have issues with the thing coming kink to the side. And the kids love it. It looks like a pirate sword. I love it. One last thing we can do is how to make a sword holder, sheath, scabbard, or I don't know my term. Is. So you take another one, fill it up all the way, let it let a little bit out. Now what you're going to do is roughly in the middle, fold it right there, and you want a loop that's about this. You give it one, a couple of twists there, and open it up. You want that open, and then to make sure it doesn't come undone, just tie a knot with it. You put it around the kid's waist. I'm not a kid, it doesn't work for me. But you put it around the kid's waist, and you give it one twist. That way when they're ready to take it off, it's just one twist, and it comes off. So just one twist, bam. And then, the sword goes right... Oh, I should have made the hook. Right there. And that's the balloon swords and sword holder. Have a good Friday. If you liked it, subscribe. If you think someone else might want to learn, pass it along. If not, see y'all later.